I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Keep dreaming! Burgess and Cochran as well. Fan out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, but the king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Run out, lads! And 
take this shanty town and put it where you're at. for the king's ambassadors. Out of the way, you bastard! Go on! Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Then these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. I know well armed. We are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Quaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am a goddamn governor here, serving at the King's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. <laughs> 